I built some boat trailer bunks the other day out of uh, pressure treated 2 before s and then I put some uh, Atwood uh, bunk padding on there. And a buddy of mine came by and he was wondering why uh, the Velcro is on here. And that's why I'm making this video. Uh, the Velcro has a couple of uh, useful functions for these bunks. And um, I'll explain one of those. Uh, some of these steep inclines on ramps and the weight of your boat creates a lot of drag so it makes it harder for you to crank your boat up. So by applying the Velcro it's, uh, it's creating a slippery surface and reduces that drag. The nice thing about the Velcro is you can uh, apply as much Velcro as you want and if, if it's too slippy you can just pull it right back off. Now you might think that the Velcro isn't strong enough to, to hold up but it is. I'll show you right here. This is a 12 foot pressure treated tube before, which is a little heavy. And I'm going to try to pull this Velcro off. And as you can see, it'll pull the whole board up. No problem. So it is, it is very strong. Um, another function of the Velcro is if you have a spot where it's wearing, where your boat hits a lot, or suppose your padding is starting to fray or you have a tear or a big rip in there, you can just put the Velcro over top of it. There's no, you don't need any screws, any staples, anything like that. It's very easy. And uh, that saves you having to repad that bunk again. And if you have a serious tear, you can wrap the Velcro around it, and you can use uh, stainless staples and actually sta staple the bottom of it. And it, it'll stay on there very well. So, the Velcro, uh, this Velcro here, it comes in a package like this, it's called Country Brook. You get 30 feet of it uh, for $10 on Amazon, and it's sew-on Velcro. It's not the glue back, you don't want that, you want the sew-on, because the backing on is vinyl, and it's, and it's very slick, no glue. So that's the kind you need to get. And... Uh, I think like YouTube and Amazon, that's, that's like beer and pizza. You can't beat it. Now, uh, there's one other thing I'd like to show you, and that's right here. This is a fish finder, and it's a GPS. So while I have you here, um, once you wire this in, and you wire the power cord in, you really can't use it unless you have it in your boat. So what I did was by a, an extra power cord and an acid battery, an acid sealed 12 volt battery. That way you can take this unit uh, out on your picnic table, on your porch, anywhere you can get satellite reception with this and at your convenience you can sit down and you can, you can map coordinates and, and put waypoints in there and you don't have to try to do it in your boat. So. I hope those are a couple tips you can use, and I thank you for watching.